today we're going to look at chapter 15 and he's explaining, you know, Christ died for our sins. He was buried and he rose again. And this is good news. This is the gospel. So which means that all that his death, burial and resurrection resulted in is the gospel. So Paul is saying, hold fast, keep secure, keep a firm position, position of it. There could be enemies, there could be influences. And otherwise, you know, the fact that you believed at one point doesn't actually hold good. Paul is saying that, he's saying that there were many witnesses. He's just giving even more proof. You know that this is not some story that was cooked up, this gospel. It is a historical fact. The birth, it was a historical fact. The death, yes. The burial, yes. And the resurrection also. So Paul talks about that and saying, you know, this is indisputable. This is truth. This is reality. So keep a strong grip on it. He's saying, by the grace of God, I am what I am. Right? His grace has enabled me, empowered me to be who I am today. Paul is saying that, you know, this is true. Yes, it's the grace of God. The grace of God makes us who, are, who we are and, and who we become. But also, we need to labor. We need to do our part. We need to work having received the grace of God. The third thing Paul talks about is about the resurrection of the dead. See, nominal Christianity or, you know, cultural Christianity refuses to, to consider the death and the resurrection of the Lord. With the same intensity, or uh, it doesn't look at Scripture the same way, you know, it has, been, uh, it has been highlighted by the Holy Spirit. The resurrection of the Lord. So he's saying, how can you, some of you, how can some of you say that there is no resurrection from the dead? You know, if Christ is not risen then there is actually no resurrection from the dead. So we see that for the believer, for the Christian, you know, death, resurrection from the dead, Christ's resurrection from the dead is something which is key. It is central. If I don't believe that, then it's, such, it's, it's just a nominal a form of a cultural Christianity. And it's empty, it is waste. There is no hope at all. So, the Christian faith depends entirely on this truth, Christ's resurrection from the dead. If indeed we have put our trust in Jesus, if indeed that we have, if we have received salvation. Now, that's the, that's the thing there. That's the clause. If indeed we sleep, we are asleep in Christ, we will rise again. So, this resurrection of the Lord is actually a representation of our resurrection. That's the hope that we have. That he rose again from the dead. So therefore we can say that I will rise again from the dead. We need to guard our faith in the gospel. And when it comes to things of the resurrection. That we guard our faith. It is raised immortal, incorruptible, spiritual and raised up in glory. You know, and that's, that's the thing. He says, as we have borne the image of the man of dust. Referring to Adam. You know, we, we inherited the sinful nature. Right? As we have borne that image so also we will bear the image of the heavenly man, right? referring to the Lord Jesus. But the hope that we have is this, you know, as they bore the image of the first Adam, of the man of dust, they will bear the image of the heavenly man. Like if they indeed, you know, fell asleep in the Lord. So when you close your eyes here, you will be with the Lord. 